everyone, I am Dave the Prayer Guy, and I'm so excited that you're here watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. I know I say this every week, but it is so true. It's really my pleasure to make these videos because I want to encourage you, the believers out there, the disciples of Jesus, to use prayer as a fuel for God's mission. And of course, and I say this every week, but it is so important to say it. And what I mean by God's mission well, I mean the Great Commission of going out, making disciples, evangelism, and helping those disciples to obey everything Jesus has commanded them. Discipleship, evangelism, and discipleship. We are all called. If you are a believer in Jesus, you are called to be part of this mission. And it is his mission. He promises to be with us through the Holy Spirit to the end of the age. So we need to be connected with him. We get connected to him through prayer. And it is his mission. So let's pray about it. Let's fuel it. Let's allow him to work through us. And so I want to continue to talk about different passages and scriptures about how they speak to us. And so let's get started. So growing up, I would have to say the Lord's Prayer every week at church. My mom brought me to Mass, uh, the Catholic Church, and we said it every week. And then when I became more Protestant and I was part of a Baptist church, I was part of a Baptist church that said it every week as well. Um, I had to get used to debts instead of trespasses, but, you know, such the things of life in the Christian church. Um, but basically, I just, just a quick side note, debts and trespasses basically mean the same thing when it comes to the Lord's Prayer. So it doesn't really matter which version you're saying, you are praying the same thing. And... And so, and I like um, the passage from Luke when Jesus is teaching it. Now, the ma passage from Matthew is great, the Sermon on the Mount, but I really like this one. And I'm going to go ahead and read it to you um, because I, I kind of like this version. Uh, one day, Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of his disciples asked him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us. And lead us not into temptation. Oh, this is great. I encourage everybody to study this prayer, especially from Scripture. Study both the Matthew and the Luke version. You know, look into why some traditions use debts and why some churches use trespasses. I mean, it, it is a great study. But in a, in a way, this prayer, and I probably have talked about this before on this channel, but I, I think it's great to talk about it again, essential to talk about it again, because we, we forget things and reminders are amazing things. So I see this as an outline and and it starts out we worship hallowed be your name we worship jesus and we worship god the father and the holy spirit for some time before we actually start asking him things and that's important because the more we worship the more we become like him uh, and, and that is so important that is so critical and crucial pray worship him and then at that point we pray for God's kingdom. And so when I'm praying through this outline, I'm praying for people that I know to be saved. I am praying for people to grow closer to Jesus, you know, the disciples, the other part of that mission for disciples to grow closer to him. And then at, after that, um, guidance for my life, for my ministry, you know, I, I pray for these vlogs one day. I pray for the ministry that I'm involved in at my church, the prayer ministry and the prayer coordinator. Um, yeah. And then next I'm asking to meet my needs and the needs of others. I pray for the ministries of other people. I'm praying for my pastor. And I just pray for needs. I pray for my own needs, the needs of my wife, the needs of my son. And then I'm praying for the ability to forgive. You know, we deal with sinful people. Nobody is perfect. And so sometimes I need his help to forgive. And I want others to forgive me because sometimes I mess up. 
um, majorly, royally, so to speak. Maybe I'm a little bit harder on myself than I am on others, but I want others to forgive me. I, I, I pray for my relationships that will grow closer to each other um, because we're, we're called not to do this alone, but to do this with others. And then the last part is spiritual warfare. You know, lead us not in temptation. We don't want to be tempted. We want to probably will be, but we want help. And I'm also praying for demons to be disarmed, demons to be defeated, angels will be strengthened because there is a spiritual world out there. And our battle's not against flesh and blood, it is against the spiritual forces that want to destroy us. And like I said, I do this every day. I have index cards. I go through every day. I'm praying for different stuff every day based on this outline. And, and it's praying missionally. It's praying for God's mission because God is involved in all of these. And all these things affect his kingdom being advanced. So what about you? Do you pray this prayer? Have you heard about this being an outline before? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. And how can I pray for you? You know, put those in the comments. You know, and hopefully many people will be praying for you. You'd rather just have me pray for you. Look me up at Facebook. Uh, I am at Fueling God's Mission with Prayer. You can send me a private message there. And, and I'll pray for you. And I'll ask how God's answering the prayer. All right. Speaking of praying, I've talked long enough. Let me pray and close out this video. Lord, thank you. Thank you that you taught your disciples to pray. Thank you that you're teaching us to pray. So now I ask you to, to not to stop teaching us. I want more people to be praying more missionally, to fueling your mission with prayer because it is your mission. So help us to use your teachings from the Bible to pray. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, if you haven't already, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, and as always, God bless, and may the Lord be with you.